Come on. Oh. Got him. Oh. Did you get him? <coughs> oh, coronavirus. Shit. This is how you call the peacock bass. No joke, guys. This is how it's done. All right, so basically the idea right here is to create a sound that replicates peacock bass feeding on bait fish in the wild. So that swishing around um, gets their attention and they're pretty curious fish, so they will come to inspect. And if there's a bait sitting there, they'll probably smack it. Told you, I told you. That is exactly how it's done. Woo! It's a nice peacock, guys. This is a nice fish. Oh, come on. Ooh. See, I'll let you guys know the secrets. Just don't tell anyone else, all right? No one else knows these secrets. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. The price is wrong, bitch. That's a six pound fish. I taught you guys how to catch it. I also taught you guys how to lose it. Ah! Guys, I cannot explain to you how pissed off I am right now. I'm literally shaking because that's the biggest fish I've hooked in a long time when it comes to peacock bass. I told you though, that's how you call the fish. You saw that. I did the fish call. Within 30 seconds, bam, big ass fish on the line. Except I'm using ultralight uh, fluorocarbon because that's all I had the other day. Time to put some 20 pound on and uh, keep these bad boys. Welcome to another episode of CEO Fishing. Today, I'm actually fishing with someone who watches the channel and they are the winners of the last trivia question. It's the real five guys fishing. They won the lure. They hit me up and say, hey, we're not too far from you. You want to link up and just wet some lines? I'm like, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's canals everywhere in Miami. They, they go all the way from the bay out to the Everglades. If you know what to look for, you're probably going to be able to catch some peacock bass. We're just going to hop from spot to spot until we can find that giant. Oh, people beeping horns and stuff. Kind of hungry, so I'm going to run inside the gas station. Yes, the gas station has very delicious Cuban food. Um, I might grab an empanada or some croquetas or something and a colada. So give me a minute. I'll be right back. <coughs> oh, coronavirus. Shit. Had to put my face shield on to go inside because we're not allowed to walk inside anywhere without a mask. I think that's the regulation. But, uh, oh yeah, I got me some croquetas and a spinach empanada. Perfect way to start off the day. But most importantly, got me some colada. Basically, it's just like super strong espresso with sugar in it. Oh, it is so delicious. So I told you I was meeting up with somebody. Here he is. How you doing, man? What's up, Nice man? to meet you. Nice What's to on? meet you. Introduce yourself. Uh, Carlos from Three Old Guys, Five Guys Fishing. Just out here with Brian, the CEO, trying to catch some, some Moby Dicks. All right, so like I told you guys in the truck, he's the one who won the lure from the last video. Right there, that lipless series from Atco. Boom. Nice. There it is. All right, you know, I had to bust out the uh, Florida Fishing product. Got the Osprey 2500 on my pin battalion. Love it. I'm gonna cast into the pipe, guys. You know how I love sticking things in holes. Come on. Oh, right there. Oh, that's a large mouth. Oh. Am I recording? Yes, good. Got him. Oh, no, you're coming on land, buddy. I'm not waiting for you to break off. That's a chunky largemouth right there. 
I will take that all day. You guys see that? Fish 30. Oh yeah. Finally, after I just lost a big peacock on the other side. Look at that mouth. GoPro does no justice. He's bigger than he looks, guys. All right, guys. So, as you see, I hooked a big fish, lost a big fish. Very upset about that. I'm in my fields right now. Walked across the street, got a really nice large mouth. And we're gonna hop to another spot to see if we can get some more fish. Guys, I hope you're enjoying the episode. Make sure you hit that like button. Before I catch the next fish, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. Into the jungle, guys. Got the chancleta hiking boots on. Ah. Think, good thing is I know how to swim. Here we are. Home of the giants. Right past that tree right there. Probably one of the biggest peacock I ever hooked was under that tree. Oh, I'm on. Got him. Do not want to lose it with this hook. Nice color. Nice color, nice fish. Little peacock bass. Got him right in the corner of the mouth. Get some color in here. Look at that, guys. Such pretty fish. Look at the barbs on them. Little dot tail. That metallic bluish green right there on the cheeks. Beautiful fish. Got a fish. I got a fish. Little peacock. Don't matter. Big or small. We love them all. Peacock bass fishing, baby. Get in there. Peacock gonna crush me if I can get it to eat off the edge. Got him. Got him. Oh, yeah. Woo! Watch the meat and everything. Yeah. Another peacock bath. Tickle the belly, make the fins stick up nice and pretty. Check out the dot. See if we can find another one. Pow pow. More rain. I'm gonna exaggerate how bad the weather was. You know? Yeah. It was so bad. It was like a monsoon out here, guys. Made it a real struggle all day. Probably the worst weather I've seen since the hurricane. Using that live bait, you want it to do the work. So. Cast it out where you want it to be. I'll leave the bell open. I just touch the line like this. If I feel a fish hit, I let it run for a second. Close the bell and zoop, zoop. set the hook. Don't look back. Got him. Can I get him? Can I get him? Hmm? Can I get him? You want to get him? Yeah. Oh, he's a good fish. Got him? All right, I got your rod. There you go. Passing the fish off. Gotta practice. Gotta practice. No, because I'm gonna just hold that. Gotcha. You're gonna go down there and land them. All right. Nice fish. Boom. And we got another one. Yep. Rain is coming, the fish start biting. Look at that, another peacock bass in the books. Now we've actually caught a lot. Yeah. So now we're getting rained up. Yeah. There it is, peacock bass. CEO fishing, we out. So it was a fun day, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. It's just me fishing with 305 guys fishing. You know, like I said, he's someone who watches the channel, follows me on Instagram. So it was cool being able to just fish with some people that are local in the neighborhood. So I don't mind fishing with other people. So hit me up, you know, if I got time, I'll wet a line with you. If not, you know, I'll let you know. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure that notification bell is on and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, let's see, trivia questions. Um, here's a chance to win a shout out in the next video. Trivia question number one. Who was I fishing with today? Trivia question number two. What rod and reel combo was I using today? 
And trivia question number three, and you gotta pay attention to the whole video for this one. How many fish did I land? Comment answers below. I'll pick one lucky winner to be shouted out in the next video. Congrats to DJ Gator. You are the shout out winner of the day and you are the winner of the Lunker Supply swim bait. So uh, hit me up. Hit me up on Instagram actually, at Brian the CEO. Um, if you can't contact me here and let me know how to get this to you. If you want to have a chance to win some more prizes, all you got to do is make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell. There you have it guys. This is how the day ends. It's been on and off like this all day. Been a little cooler than normal down here from Miami. And uh, the bite was a bit slow, but we still managed to catch some fish. But yeah, the weather. No bueno. Guys, it's raining, I'm wet getting steamy in the truck because I don't have the AC on. So uh, until next time, keep your head up, keep moving forward, and tight lines. With a passion, they say I be swagging and slaying in fashion. Feel like King Arthur, I just laid a dragon. My jig on the bottom, I ain't even snagging. Slay like a savage, we're snooking the best.